Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of cool or dope or creative genres of photography. One of my favorites is light painting. Light painting is literally like in the name. Like it's painting with light. A lot of people who watch my videos are just like, how do you do that? How do you do that cool fiery thing that you guys did a couple weeks ago? By the way, the video is on my channel. You guys should definitely check it out. It's pretty good. How do you paint with light? It's literally just as simple as leaving your camera shutter open for longer than a second. It's a pretty fun way to be just super ultra uber creative <laughs> ever since we kind of just screwed around with light painting it was fun to just see what would pop out in the camera that was fucking cool <laughs> I remember when I started out, it was just me and like a random flashlight that I found in a drawer. And I was just waving that thing around in different environments. And then later on, I bought a big light strip. Now, these are very old. I don't remember when I bought them, but I've had them for like three or four years at this point. And we did screw around with this thing. It's a light and it changes color. So even this big fucking thing, it's like a fucking lightsaber, man. <laughs> Hold on. But yeah, they're always gonna be like different or random and just, you know, just try different stuff with it. You get to just experiment and try a lot of cool ultra things out. I don't know. When I first started light painting, the person I took inspiration from is Eric Pare. Now he's pretty dang cool. I don't know if you've ever seen him, but he has some awesome stuff on his page. So check it out right here. More recent example was Ruben Martinez. You can follow him right here. I'm probably gonna put his socials. Literally the first time I walked into a shop, I was just like, these are not Photoshop right they look photoshop but he assured me that it wasn't me being the curious photographer i asked him to basically help me understand how to do this sure enough we met up and he's gonna show you how to do this today i've met this person <laughs> ruben martinez who has been doing this for a couple years honestly when i walked into a shop i probably had my mind blown because i i didn't expect the images to be i guess real until he told me that all these images were done in camera. That's when I was just like, holy crap. <laughs> so I'm here to check some of his stuff out and we'll see how to take photos like, you know, some here on the walls that you can see. It's pretty cool <laughs> that I'm even here. Hi guys, I'm Ruben Martinez and I'm excited to share like all the incredible possibilities that light painting just has to offer. I love sharing like my passion for light painting. If you're not familiar, it's capturing the movement of light in one single long exposure. You can think about all the different things that you can possibly do. And here at the gallery, I pretty much have everything displayed with the evolution of my, um, of my light painting journey. And so we'll get into some of that. Okay. Yeah, let's, right do <laughs> let's, let's do it. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. safe with all that stuff on. Right on. Doesn't look like you'd ever get fun. Better believe it. Bet those suits never burn. Hell no. You ever spill locks on it? That's time. Got a film I want to show you. So what we're gonna first do is go into bulb mode. And in bulb mode, there's no time limit in light painting. You'll be able to go ahead and fire your camera. And as soon as you do, you can start painting with light without worrying about any time limit. And so that way um, it's just, yeah, you're not pressed for time. Now for bulb mode, it all depends on how long you hold down the shutter button. You could hold it down for like a minute or two, but that usually gets tiring. What a lot of people do is get like a camera release shutter button thing. It's basically like a shutter remote that you can click, opens your camera, you can click again, and it closes your camera. Now, if you don't have like a shutter release switch, set it to 30 seconds and from there we'll move on and try different stuff. And then my typical standard startup settings are aperture is gonna be an F8 and then ISO 100. And we'll start with whatever subject we're gonna shoot. We'll go ahead and put that in frame and then focus on the subject. Awesome. So this is gonna be your tool right here. And all you do is just push this on, man. And so what we'll do is we'll create just waves and patterns. We're gonna hit the lights and from there, just go ahead and fire your camera and start moving. Whatever you want to create. And then you can stop and you'll see what you capture.
Yep. Yeah. Yep, the more dramatic the better, bro, because this is all just staging. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> it's honestly pretty fun, and as you can see from like some of the clips that we took, I got giddy as fuck when we got like the end result. Oh, <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just moving, right? You're just moving. So you ready to do it again? Yeah. Okay, sweet. And the results were pretty freaking cool. It just depends on what you want. Like you're not gonna hit it out of the park right off the bat. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take practice. Even after the mistakes that you make, you can easily just learn from them. Like learning how a certain movement will look like in camera so that you can easily replicate it. Like this part where I took this awesome portrait of my friend at the beach. Man, this was cool, but you could see like my friend's ghosted feet on the bottom. Obviously it took a couple tries to even making this cool portal doorway thing with this cool lightsaber thing. It's even cool to just spaz out and fling this thing around. There was no wrong answer. Just do, baby. It's fun to explore light painting and just screw around with it. I honestly think that a lot of people should do it because it gives you kind of an understanding of what the camera does and what long shutter speed is because that's one thing that a lot of people like but they don't know about it and it's literally simple to do. <laughs> but yeah, this was a fun video to make. I encourage you all to screw around with lights. Just do. <laughs> and with that out of the way, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace. It's going? Yep. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna select red, and all I'm doing is just moving around and dancing all behind it to make it look like it's on fire. Now, of course, you're probably gonna see my light that's on my shirt move around, but I'm okay with that, you know? But yeah, and so you can even just go on the floor and go crazy like this. You can even change up the color. Say you wanna add some green in there and just make it like vibrant as much as you want. And you're just going like crazy.